hydrogen has a special role in the future energy systems. It's not, repeat, it's not the silver bullet for solving all our problems. It's not the one solution that helps at all, but it has a special role. And the special role is twofold. The first thing is that hydrogen can have direct impact on reducing local um, emissions because it's there is many, many different applications in which we can use hydrogen as locally emission-free applications. For example, in transport and industry sectors to avoid process-related greenhouse gas emissions. Second role is the indirect role of hydrogen. Green hydrogen is the basis for renewable production of gas and liquid energy carriers and feedstocks. Mm -hmm. And this is very important. And this is very important for politics to please understand the special role of hydrogen because there's four very important reasons why power fuels, so green electricity-based energy carriers and feedstocks are really important. First is they offer a climate-friendly solution to applications with no viable alternative out of our today's perspective. Second, those power fuels, hydrogen and others, um, allow us to further use existing infrastructures and devices, which leads to much lower overall costs of the energy transition. Mm -hmm. Third in there is that green hydrogen, or well, no, actually it's power fuels, uh, are a green drop-in alternative to fossil fuels and their der derivatives in many different infrastructures and devices, which allows for an easy ramp up independently of future changes in the application areas. And the fourth, and this is the one I'd like to highlight most, or I'd like to focus on most, is that power fuels and green hydrogen allows to make local potentials of renewable energy production being mm -hmm. traded on global markets. 